collective welcome to collectively chosen it's miss kelly coming to you with your month let's say monday morning message okay look it feels like monday <laughs> i guess i don't know i'm up early i've been up early Got a lot going on um so collective this message is a bit it's a bit different because we have here watching shit go down enjoying the gossip so somebody is sitting back watching something whatever is happening is taking place on social media okay somebody could be sitting and watching on their phone facebook could be significant okay somebody here is in their fields all right somebody may realize that somebody look we have eat drink and be married okay so somebody here could have just recently got um married okay is what i'm seeing here uh let's see but somebody here is definitely in their fields. All right. Getting more in their fields. Somebody here could be drinking as well. What does the collector need to know? All right. Somebody here could be definitely getting readings done. Somebody may find out that somebody here is married. Okay. All right, we have mental health in the reverse. All right, so somebody here that could be in divination or uh, something here. I don't know if somebody was trying to say, like, collective, like, you're a little off or you're crazy because you, you know, you do tarot or you, you know, you pull cards or you go to a reader, you know, you take it how it resonates. All right, let's see. Somebody could really be in their fields. They might have realized that you you're legit in what it is you do give me more for the collective please and thank you give me more what else does the collective need to know okay so look we have conspiracy love story once upon a time so some of you this could be someone like maybe somebody is marrying a childhood sweetheart okay somebody could be trying to say either you're jealous or something like that but i see envy here in the reverse <laughs> so um there's nothing for you to be jealous about okay oh look as i say that baby the collective out here taking care of themselves getting uh facials and things of that nature <laughs> okay you don't have time to be envious of anybody like hello bitch okay nope okay shit is zen do you hear me i love it solid as a rock that's what i deserve gems so oh upset gems oh sorry so some of y'all gonna be good with a gemini this could be a Gemini. Hold on, y'all. Shut that one though, because people are now active. They're up and moving around. I don't want, you know, too much noise. Okay, look, spoiled, baby. So somebody could feel like you're a spoiled brat, uh, collective. All right, whoever this is, they hate nothing about you. Somebody here is going through depression, though. I do see that, okay? Could be a hater. So, somebody could have been wishing on your downfall. Somebody thought that they knew some tea or something about you. Absolutely not. They don't have a clue, okay? Somebody may come back towards you to apologize for something. It's not a fake apology. I feel like it is genuine. But if this person is coming back and you decide to, you know... Give them a little nookie, a little cookie, okay? Make sure you protect yourself. That's what I'm saying here. Yeah, something is worth the wait here. See, psychic vision. All right, so some of you, this is confirmation. Somebody out here could be sleeping with, uh, like, strippers. And um, this could be somebody who chased fantasies, okay? So just spirit is just telling you be careful. And with this psychic vision, this is like my Ace of Swords, my uh, High Priestess card, okay, for this deck. So, that's confirmation. Definitely make sure you protect yourself. Somebody could be out here dealing with, uh, you know, 
strippers and things like that. And not saying just because you're a stripper that you, you know, give it up to any and everybody. That's not the point. But the point is, you do live a riskier lifestyle. <laughs> like, let's just be honest. I mean, then you have some who, you know, they're everyday folk. And they still be out here risking their life for the free. So, I mean, look, take it out of resonate shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Period. Give me something on watching shit go down. Enjoying the gossip. Okay. Judgment. Somebody here is under judgment. Um. Somebody wants. Ooh. Okay. King of Swords. Here we go with this shit. Three of Cups. King of Swords. Queen of Cups. Okay, so, and the strength card. So, there could have been, there could have been another, I'm seeing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I'm also seeing Leo here. I'm seeing Sagittarius here as well. You could have been in, dealing with either of these signs. This could have been people who, um, somebody was celebrating. I feel like somebody was celebrating, like, people gossiping or trying to talk about somebody or something like that okay um somebody could have definitely been trying to say like i said that somebody here was jealous give me one more judgment okay look the emperor oh wow empress in the reverse why is the empress in the reverse Nine of Swords. So somebody here could be definitely in their head. All right. Needing to heal. The hangman. Somebody here could have tried to sacrifice someone here. Six of Wands. Someone wanted to win at all costs. Could be a Pisces. Oh, somebody wanted to win at all costs, okay? Um, there's going to be some sort of achievement as well. <sighs> what is going on? Okay, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Somebody could be a bit of a pessimist here. Or somebody could have like poor communication, temperance. All right, somebody needs to find some sort of balance, harmony, or some sort of change of perspective here. Okay. This could also be someone around you as well. You know, you take it how it resonates. Me eat, drink, and be merry. All right, we have the star. So somebody here could be getting married here. Three of coins in the reverse. All right, um, you and a you and an Aquarius or Aquarius, you may be. Um, not on the same page with someone here, okay? Somebody here may be unmotivated, okay? Ugh. Somebody may not be happy about a union, okay? You may end up seeing, somebody may end up seeing something play out on, yeah, nine of coins in the reverse. There could be an Aquarius, something could be going on with your finances, okay? Uh -huh. Seven of coins. All right. But somebody here is trying to rebuild. You could be trying to uh, work on your money. Okay. Two of cups reverse after some sort of breakup. You could have realized you. So, okay. So somebody here could have realized that somebody is not. Uh, you and someone are not compatible. Okay. Um, somebody could have wanted to marry you at some point in time. Collective, okay, take it how it resonates for you. 
got strong Aquarius, but somebody is not in their north node. Somebody's in their south node, operating out of their south node. Why is Facebook here? Why is Facebook here? 1010, 10, something is coming to completion here. I feel like there's a new beginning starting here. Four cups, okay. Somebody may reach out to you on Facebook and tell you how they regret something here. Um, I do feel like, let's see. Four cups. Give me more than a four cup. Four ones. There's a community of people that's regretting something. There's a community of people that's regretting something. Ace of Wands. You could possibly be seeing people go in a whole new direction. Ace of Swords, what I'm telling you is the truth. Okay, again, like I said, somebody or this community thought that they were going to win at all costs. All right, but they're in some, somebody here is in deep regret. Yep, in their fields, five of cups. Okay. Somebody is really in a lot of regret. Again, somebody could have tried to tell somebody that, you know, who King of Cups in the reverse. Yes, strong Scorpionic energy. Ace of Swords. Somebody here is in their feelings. This person could be getting readings. Okay. Hmm. This is somebody who's overly emotional. They're unbalanced. This person could be suffering from depression as well. All right. Why is the King of Cups reversed? This person could be emotionally cut off. This person could be regretting, yeah, the devil in the reverse. This person could be regretting the fact that they um that they didn't show emotion or they tried to manipulate you in some way, shape, or form. This person could have thought they were going to manipulate you with some sort of communication or messages, okay? Uh, something with social media here. Some of you could have been inspired to go in a new direction. There's some sort of breakthrough that's happening. Okay, it could be a celebration of some community. All right, it could be a community of people that's celebrating some sort of victory that you're seeing online. But I do see that there's some, some major regret here. Six of coins. Okay, so somebody is realizing that they're having to relinquish or release some sort of power. Somebody's trying to reclaim their power. All right, so somebody here could be getting some sort of good news. Somebody could be getting a reading and receive some sort of good news. All right, give me the, what is divination? What's the divination? Ooh, okay. Justice in the reverse. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. You're going to find out something about a Libra. If you are purchasing or getting some sort of reading done, and it don't necessarily have to be by me. It could be you just getting a reading. Um, you're going to find out some sort of injustice about a Libra. Something that a Libra done. What is this justice in the reverse? What is this? Some sort of corruption, lack of accountability. What is this? Page of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's really childish, okay? Um, hmm. They don't know how to manage their emotions. Their creativity could be blocked with someone. They don't come up with their own ideas. This is also someone trying to hold on to you as well. So this person could be getting, this, this Libra could be getting readings done on you. Yeah, death card. They're trying to hold on because in this reading, they could have found out that, you know, say if this person is wanting you to come back, they're realizing that through this reading, you're not coming back. Something is completely over. Something is definitely changed. There's an ending. Yeah, you're moving forward here, okay? With the three of wands here, you're looking towards the future. You're not looking behind you. You're looking in front of you. All right, so something is definitely over. Some of you may have some sort of feeling... That this person may go both ways, but they weren't honest about it, okay? Two of Swords, yes. This person wanted you to not see something for what it is. 
Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You don't want a new beginning with this person. You're taking a new beginning, but it will not be with them. All right. Um, this person could have. Yeah, you're taking a new beginning, but I don't feel like it's going to be with them. Um, this person may make some sort of bad investment. Why is the Ace of Coins reversed? Somebody's taking some sort of loss because they didn't. They're not planning properly. Ten of Cups, death. Could be a uh, Scorpio here. Somebody could have made some sort of foolish mistake here or a foolish move. Give me the death. Nine of Wands. All right. Somebody here could be drained but trying to push through, okay? Somebody could be going through a lot right now. We got the Three of Cups, all right? Somebody here, I feel like, is well trying to block somebody's, op trying to block new beginnings and new opportunities. <sighs> Give me the fool. What's the fool? High Priestess Cross. So you have a feeling about it, but you're not feeling 100% sure about it. Hmm. Follow your intuition, collective. Why is the high priestess cross? Why is the high priestess cross? Why is the high priestess cross? Queen of coins in the reverse. So this could be a queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody, this person is getting some sort of readings done on you. Um, this person, they could want to seem like they are a high priestess or they want to pose themselves as a high priestess or something of that nature. Give me the Queen of Coins in the reverse. All right, this is a wicked person. Somebody very manipulative, possessive. Okay, they want to hoard everything for themselves. Mm-hmm. Reverse King of Coins Cross. Hmm. Three of Cups. <sighs> something's being blocked. Yeah, something's being blocked. See, moving ahead, six of swords, moving to karma waters. Focus on your healing, but this is also you following your guidance and moving on from someone, okay? Could be some sort of karmic energy, all right? Think of how it resonates. Why is the king of coins reverse? See, page of coins in the reverse. Okay, so some of you, this could be a couple that could be getting a reading on you. Somebody here could be an underachiever. They don't have any type of follow through. They're very immature. All right. Um, hmm. Nine of wands. Five of swords. Yeah, this person is planning on making some sort of comeback or coming back towards you. You know, we are in Mercury retrograde. This person could be thinking about coming back towards you. The spirit is blocking it off. Breathing being. Or you have surrendered the situation because this is somebody, um, mm, okay. This person could be getting, uh, evicted. From somewhere. What is the five of swords? Five of wands. Somebody could be getting ready to possibly get evicted for some sort of fight or confrontation, some sort of clash of ego, some sort of conflict. So somebody could start like a fight or somebody could have a fight at their home and it's going to result in them getting evicted. So I feel like somebody needs to watch their temper. Ace of Swords, okay? Somebody needs to watch their temper. Three of Cups. 
All right, and watch the people that you're around. This could be something that happens at some sort of a party or something. Let's see. Or amongst some sort of friends. See, look. Seven of Swords crossed. So there's some truth and there's some lies in the mix of whatever this is. King of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. This is my God card. This is like my Hierophant card. Give me Six of Swords in the reverse and the Emperor. So there could be an Aries or someone who don't want you to leave or want you to go or want you to move on or something here. Could be a supervisor. I don't know. Take it how it resonates with you. The Chariot. Someone wants to move forward. Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands. There could be a Cancer that's having a hard time. Or trying to move forward has been hard for somebody here. If somebody have a business, something could be feel like it's hard trying to get off the ground. Okay, we got the High Priest. That's my Hierophant card. And then we have the tower. Mm. Ace of Cups. Somebody is feeling like they're in love. There could be a Taurus, Aries, Scorpio. That somebody is now learning how to love on themselves. I do feel like somebody is refusing to uh, let go of the situation. Give me the tower. What is the tower? Before I say anything, give me the tower. Just the ones crossed. Page of swords, eight of cups, and the six of coins. Okay. Somebody's curious and why you walked away. Could be dealing with the Taurus. What else do we have here? Taurus, Air. I'm going to say we got Aries. What is this conspiracy? Somebody feels like something could have been a conspiracy. Like, somebody feels set up. Let me say that. Okay, page one. If I conspiracy, Knight of Cups, a lot of young energy. Three of Wands reverse. Yeah, somebody feels like someone here is trying to block someone's future. Or block someone's movement. Yeah, see, eight of wands. But I do feel like there's some sort of communication that's getting ready to come in. What is love story? Once upon a time. Ace of Swords. All right, so somebody here I'm getting from the past may want to come in and make you some, uh, want to tell you some sort of truth or give you some sort of clarity. A lover, a past lover. The Sun and the Nine of Cups. They want you to know that you make them happy. All right, they see you as wish fulfillment. And this person, somebody may send you a letter, okay? Or just some sort of a message. Um, I'm also getting, you could be dealing with a Virgo. This is someone you already know, confirmation. All right, someone that you could have completed some sort of cycle here. Again, this person could be in some sort of mental overload. All right, and I feel like whoever this is, yeah, they could be up in their neck and like a... Uh, collections this could also be the same person who um this could be that same person who 
Could be receiving some sort of eviction notice for some sort of confrontation, argument, fight, something here. Ooh, okay. Give me envy in the reverse. Envy in the reverse. The hermit. Give me more. Yes, Ten of Coins in the reverse, and we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Somebody is having a very hard time. A very hard time. Someone's fortune is going back. Eight of Swords. This, somebody here could be feeling trapped here. King of Wands in the reverse, Confidence. All right, this person could be a bit of a tyrant, okay? Could have a bad temper. This person could even be a bully. So, you know, you don't have to pay attention to the sign, but I'm getting strong. Uh, Aries Leo Sag energy here. All right, and then we have the two of coins cross with the knight of wands. So this is someone who I feel like they're a bit a little too free with their spirit, okay? Thank you. Confirmation. They're a little too free with their spirit. This is someone they need to grow up. That's what I just heard. They need to grow up. Yeah, two of wands. Make a decision. Are they a child or are they an adult? Like, what, who, uh, there's something with the way that this person moves. Okay? Something with the way that this person moves. Yeah, three of cups. What is this? Two of wands. Somebody is hoping for some sort of... Uh, reconciliation or hoping you choose to come towards them in some way ace of cups yeah they want to offer you some sort of relationship here six of yeah six of cups uh, you don't trust this person you feel like this person has secrets okay um this person could be younger than you or you know I mean, I do see a lot of young energy. So, I mean, y'all could be in the same age range. But the ones that I do see are in the reverse. Some of them are in the reverse. So, I just feel like you're dealing with an immature energy. Give me a note. Gemini. I'm probably saying note. I could say gem. Tell me y'all dealing with a Gemini. It is what it is. <laughs> Collective is a note. Three of Swords in the reverse. You've already done the healing from this person. Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, you're not going to allow this person to come back in your life and cause disruption. Um, again, like I say, um, some of you, you could be uh, learning a little bit more. Three souls reverse. Like I feel like you've forgiven someone, but you're still it's still a no. Some of you I feel like you just had a a fake person. Yeah. Around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's over. Something is completely over. Completion. Yes. End of a cycle. That shit is done. You've done whatever healing you needed to do. So they're going to send you some sort of letter or something's coming in the mail. Five of coins. Ugh. Why are the five of coins here? Five of Coins. Knight of Swords. Reverse. Unfocused. Follower. Mischance. There's going to be some sort of missed opportunity here. Oops. The Magician. 
All right, Knight of Coins, slow. So something could be, you could be manifesting something or this person could be manifesting something, but it's coming in slow. It's like a no. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Strength. Could be something with a Leo. A Leo could be getting some sort of readings or trying to learn how to uh, read cards, okay? Huh. This is an old friend. This could be an old friend. That you feel guarded against. You, you, you're you blocking this person. This person could have betrayed you. Or backstabbed you at some point. Mm. Well at least that's how you feel. Alright. Let's see. Confirmation. Um, Alright. Let's see. So you could have had someone around you. Who sat back and just like watched a bunch of drama somebody could be trying to look you up as well on facebook okay take it how it resonates thank you confirmation somebody could be wanting you to look them up on facebook okay so somebody could be trying to look you up in some way shape or form all Yeah, see the lovers, kindred spirits. This may not be for everybody. And look, I've seen the lovers. That's what's kept saying Gemini energy. I kept feeling that. Um, be mindful of not being reckless, okay? When it comes to intimacy, having sex, things like that, okay? Be careful with that. Don't be reckless. Protect yourself. Remember I said that. Protect yourself. What will be the outcome? Six of Wands. High Priest. Okay, I feel like this is like you listening to your higher self. As well as you sticking to your beliefs. Okay. Wow. Ace of Cups. Six of Swords. You possibly was guided to move away from a from a Taurus. Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody here could be in some sort of family situation. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Three of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, could have changed your mind on wanting to make any sort of offer. Oh wow. So whatever or whoever this is, you don't have any any more feelings towards this. Okay, um, if something was blocked, yeah, you have no feelings towards this. <laughs> if something was blocked here, uh, yeah, look, ten of wands. If something was blocked here, um, who I feel like it's for your highest good and you're accepting that, or well, you've accepted it, yeah, the sun, <laughs> you've accepted it, okay, strength. All right, there's a Leo that ego could be hurt here. The Fool, the Tower, and the Five of Cups. Somebody walked right into a tower. Somebody regrets it. Could be a Scorpio. Six of Coins. Okay, somebody could be trying to pay someone because their ego is hurt. So, somebody may find out that somebody is going around pay, trying to pay for it. What is this? Six God? Why well, I just say six God? Lord have mercy. Um, I don't know. That sounds like some Drake shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then we have here the Empress. All right. Mm. Judgment in the reverse. Nine of Cups in the reverse. So if you're dealing with a Libra, <coughs> excuse me, or a Taurus, 
somebody here is a bit miserable. Somebody could be ignoring their calling as well. Somebody's not happy. Somebody feel like their dreams are not coming to fruition. They're shattered. Okay, but then in the next breath, they feel this energy of thriving. All right, nine of swords in the reverse. So once you come out of your head or somebody comes out of their head, some sort of new cycle or new beginning starts. King of swords in the reverse. Somebody here, there's a karmic uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius here. Okay, uh, uh, this person is very manipulative. I don't even like this energy. The king of swords reverse with the devil. That is some weird... This motherfucker is, yeah, diabolical. Whatever this is, this person is diabolical. Stay the frick away from them. This person could be abusive, so they could like to uh, put their hands on people. This person could look at you as the queen of pentacles here, okay? Um, seven of swords in the reverse. Somebody, uh, this person could try to come to you to want to come, or act like they're coming clean. Somebody here is unpredictable, Okay, this person wants some sort of relationship with you. What is give me, give me, mm. the devil and the king of swords reverse? Two of coins in the reverse. Yeah, this person. Somebody is trying to make it seem like that they're good financially, but this person is not doing as well as they're trying to make it seem. This person spreads themselves too thin. Okay. King of Wands. Four coins in the reverse. This person could be trying to make some sort of large purchase. This could be someone that you turn down, collective. Five of Cups, yeah. This person is in some sort of regret now. Ooh. You may not want to be with this person. Okay. You may consider this person to be a bad friend. Four of Wands in the reverse. You don't see any sort of foundation with this person. Okay, uh, mm. you don't see them as stable either. Somebody could be having some sort of reality check here. What is the seven of cups reverse? This person is willing, trying to come, going to come to you, want to make some sort of, I feel like they're losing patience with the situation. Um, they're going to want to come to you to make some sort of compromise, okay? Or ask you to calm down. Whoever this is, they feel like they're going to ask you to calm down. Whoever this is, you feel like this person is all talk, that they're not, that they don't stand in their power with the emperor in the reverse, with the moon in the reverse. You could know some secrets or something about this person, okay? Um, or you feel like this person tries to leave you confused. But uh, yeah, this person is very arrogant. They could have a short temper. They could be reckless. This is somebody here that um, like they don't know how to go within okay uh there could be some sort of animosity here all right i am saying that there could be some sort of family issues as well all right it could be something uh dealing with this person's past but you could see through the truth okay um two of swords in the reverse like i say that's a that's a Gemini energy. This person could be moody.
right. Somebody's luck is in getting ready to improve here, though. So, I don't know. This person is losing. There's some sort of imbalance. I feel like this person is losing their patience with something. I feel like this person wants something possibly with you. Okay? Uh, but this person is losing some sort of patience with... I feel like you, <laughs> collective. Yeah. Uh, this person's losing some sort of patience with you. Um, but look, we have the Emperor in the reverse and the Page of Swords in the reverse. This is somebody who they abuse their power. Okay. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, or this is a father figure, somebody that could be married. Please, confirmation on that. Um, and this person is two faced. They could have lied on you, lied, gossiped, all that. <laughs> Alright, let's get a uh, let's get some oracle for you right quick. No, we're gonna leave those over there. Over there, over there. Oh wow. Oh. I haven't given you all a read in a couple days, so I'm not going to stress the time. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. So somebody here could be need some sort of meds. They could be having some sort of mental breakdown issues, addictions. Somebody here could be having some sort of like lucid dreams or some sort of high hopes about something. Somebody's hoping that you and them could weather some sort of storm. I don't know. I feel like somebody has some sort of false hope here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Should I stay? Should I go? Uh, somebody could be reevaluating a relationship here, and then we have traveling, long distance, and moving. Give me something here. Mm, should I stay? Should I go? All right. Somebody has some sort of mental health, but don't want someone to leave. Mm. Should I stay? Should I go? You could be at Aries Bill Sad, or you could be dealing with one. Take it how it resonates for you. Opposites attract. You are both very, very different. All right. Somebody here could be isolated. Anxiety, grief, and sadness. So, somebody here could be battling depression. They could be having illusions as well. All right. Things are not what they seem. Somebody's feeling weighed down. They're taking on too much. When they need to take it slow at this time and stop rushing the process. All right. Somebody wants to spice something up. So, like I say, whoever this is, you better use protection, baby. Something is unreconcilable. Okay. So, this person may try to come back towards you near the winter time. Earth sign. Towards Virgo Capricorn, somebody that could be going through some sort of divorce here or separation or breakup. Yeah, look, passion. See, so this is somebody that you could have been intimate with before. If not, this is someone who wants to be intimate with you. And then we have long-term relationship. Oh, okay, lesson learned. All right, so somebody feels like they learned some sort of lesson. Somebody wants long time. Somebody wants to love you long time. Collective. Okay. Look, we have family. Oh, now. Karmic lesson. So, somebody here could have already... Somebody could already be married. Hot mess. Let it be. Okay. Okay. So somebody here could already have some sort of family situation thing going on. Look, you have somebody sending you some sort of negative toxic energy via the internet. Didn't we say that? 4448. Okay, it could be significant. 
Yeah, you learned your lesson with something here. Cleanse your energy of uh, negative energy. If you feel as though these people still have any sort of uh, energetic attachments to you, try to cleanse yourself of that, please. And thank you. divine counterpart third party yeah see what i'm saying toxic energy internet somebody's watching you on the internet somebody thought they were gonna have you in some sort of fling or something something is worth the wait though in the near future yeah you've learned your lesson with the third party shit because I feel like it always turns out to be a hot mess. Well, you could have watched somebody go through some third party stuff and it turned out to be a hot mess. That's on them, baby. That's their battle, not yours. That's their battle, not yours. safe space i need a secure space to open up career <gasps> Ooh, excuse me i'm concentrating on my career and focused on advancing no matter what it takes anything else for the collective all right i'm gonna lay that there we have honesty at the bottom i will be truthful and transparent in all interactions even when it even when it may be difficult, check in. I want to catch up and make sure everything is going well. What I tell you, so expect for somebody to be reaching out to you here. All right, and look, we have secret. There is something huge I'm dying to share with you. All right, so whatever, if somebody was gossiping about you, whatever the case may be, something is getting ready to come out. All right, we have here empathy. I will provide emotional support and always try to understand you. And then we have, I'm in a bind and don't have anyone else to reach out to. Somebody is desperate. So somebody here is going to possibly, some of you, somebody's going to ask you for some sort of a loan or a favor. Why is desperate here? Mm. Desperate. Yeah, the past. Somebody from the past. I still haven't gotten over what occurred in the past. I'm mad at you. I'm unhappy and I want you to feel as badly as I do. And we have date. I love to get together. Whoever this is, they're going to ask you out on a date, but then possibly ask you for a loan or ask you for some money. Obligation in the reverse. You have no obligation to feel sorry for this person. Okay? Is what Spirit is saying. You have no obligation to feel sympathy or empathy for this person. All right? I feel like whoever this is, they did something. They did it to themselves. This has nothing to do with you. Growth and future. I see something inside of you I admire and would like to learn from you. I'm thinking ahead and wondering what our relationship would be like in the future. Mm -hmm. I don't know, collective. This will totally be on you. You have free will. I ain't feeling the energy, especially if it's from a past person and they talking about they coming in for, you know. Spirit hmm. say you are not obligated. Laughing in reverse is no laughing matter. All right, give me something on secret. I'm sorry. I need to apologize for what I did. Okay, that's why I say whoever this is. I love you and only want to add happiness to your life and the negative. See, I'm hiding my true emotions and I, and I don't actually care about your well-being. Somebody's going to come to you. All right. And we have uh, brag and then date. So somebody's going to come to you bragging. 
may want to ask you out on a date, but for real, for real, this person needs some sort of help from you. Whoever this is, they're going to come bragging to you, but this person needs help from you. And they're very desperate. So, you know, desperation makes people do some wild shit. So, just be careful, collective, okay? Desperation makes people do some wild things. That's crazy. Like, that's crazy. What does this person want? Sometimes the little things remind me of you, like a song on the radio or a line in a movie. All right. I always felt like I needed you more than you needed me. I want to reunite with you. I'm dealing with a family matter that needs my attention. I'm dealing with issues of codependency and or addiction. We both need to let go of our pride and just talk about this. And uh, I stayed in a toxic connection longer than I should have. I want what's best for both of us. You've got me doing things I've never done before, feeling ways I've never felt. And then we have, I pretended to be happy with another person because I thought it would make you jealous. Then I say that envy came in the reverse. Somebody thought you was going to be jealous or envious and baby, he, you, that you gave zero. Okay, maybe we were never meant to be. Hey, you really meant what you said? Some of you, yeah. Would you give me another chance? I listened to other people's opinions and pushed you away. So, yeah, you probably told this person or said to them, honey, it'll never in life happen ever again. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm saying here. It will never in life ever happen happen again. All right, um... So, yeah, I feel like, uh, oof. somebody, you could have told this person, like, you're good on, yeah, confirmation, you're good on them, you know what I mean, like, y'all could be cool, but outside of that, it's a wrap, like, you could have gave them that speech as well. Coming for the collective, please. Look, closure. Sacrifices must be made. Somebody here could want closure. <laughs> okay, Gemini, you don't. Know, you know, oh, look, I keep saying Gem. There's definitely Gemini energy showing up here. Well, somebody has a heavy in their chart. Trust the universe. Miscommunication. Detour. It is worth it. Where is it, baby? Whatever this is. Okay, learning to forgive. Give me the detour. Somebody regrets listening to other people's opinions about you. We outgrew each other. You see what I'm saying? So, some of you, yeah, you outgrew somebody's immature ways, behavior. All right, what is this uh, learning to forgive in this communication? All right, it still hurts. We will overcome this. Someone wants to heal something. Options are kept open. Okay, so somebody here may be open to explore and try to heal something with someone, but you're going to still keep your options open. All right, someone is unhappy here. All right, that somebody's laundry could be out. All right, the feelings are mutual. So if someone tried to act like they didn't care before, they do. All right, pride keeps us apart. What did I tell you? Never again. So I told you, somebody say, uh-uh. Somebody for somebody here. This person is just a little too inconsistent. See, somebody has unmet needs. And, yeah. So, huh. Somebody here is too inconsistent. Something's not moving. Uh... 
You didn't mean it. All right, so somebody feels like you didn't mean when you said it was done and over with, overstep boundaries, that you didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, somebody here, yeah. Somebody may not be all the way there, uh, collective. See, it is for the higher good. And that could be, uh, you know, see, second option, reverse. Sacrifices must be made. Allow for time and space. It's a no. I feel like, yeah. I feel like something is a no here. Some people never change. What I tell you, lessons are being taught. You just, yeah, I was disillusioned. I feel like you just don't want to go down that path again with whoever this is. But there will be a return. There will be a return. You don't love me. You don't think of me. <laughs> okay. So somebody's feeling some type of way. All right. The main ones, main um, zodiacs that's standing out to me is um, Gemini, Aries, Sag. And Scorpio. You know, I did say Leo earlier. Unresolved issues. Commitment. So, someone is heartbroken that you don't think of them. Look, it still hurts. Um, that you don't think of them. You don't love them. Somebody feels like you just don't give a ish. Collective. That could be the truth. Okay, that could very well be the truth. I hope these messages helped you in some way, shape, or form. Uh, let me see. Let me get your angel number. Angel number four. My collective 101, starting over. Happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience. Learning from failures is key. Happiness is real, possible, and all around. Understand its process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. Start fresh. So, whatever didn't work out, it wasn't meant for it to work out that way or in that time. So, start fresh. Let's see. Could be saying 6666. Great beginnings. And you could be saying 999. Release. All right. And I feel like a lot of you, you're releasing the past. Yes. And hone in on your unique skills. Whatever you consider your unique skills to be, hone in on that collective. All right. Give me a message to close the collective out. You know, this collective need to take away with them from this reading, please. What do they need to take with them from this reading? Learn to ride the waves of life. When faced with difficult times, you can either fight against the current or go with it. Ask yourself, what is it to be gained by depleting your energy, fighting against it? Don't do that to yourself. Okay, so just let things happen the way that they're going to happen. You pay close attention, you will notice all the doors that once closed are opening up just in a different form. Things may not appear exactly as you had envisioned. And whenever you talk to us... It never goes unheard. We hear every single word. This is your confirmation that we are assisting you, guiding you, and ensuring your wishes finally come to fruition. Be patient. Everything will come together for you. Okay? <laughs> so, I like that collective. like that energy. Hope those messages help. Love you guys and gals. See you in your next one. Peace.